Practically all young children in the United States use bottles, sippy cups, or pacifiers, but they may not be as safe as parents think. CBS correspondent Bagad Shaban explains. 22-month-old Morgan Cheryl has a chipped tooth. She reached for me and fell forward and hit her face on the ottoman in front of our couch and her bottle happened to be in her mouth at the time. A new study in the journal Pediatrics finds over a nearly two decade period more than 45,000 children under age three went to the hospital for injuries related to the use of baby bottles, pacifiers and sippy cups. That's approximately one child every four hours. The vast majority of the injuries in this study were falls were falls that children experienced, and over 70% of the injuries were injuries to the area around the mouth or the mouth itself. The study also found that two-thirds of the injuries were to children who were one year old, children who were just learning to walk and may be tripping with these products in their hands and mouths. About two-thirds of the injuries involved baby bottles. The remaining injuries were divided evenly between sippy cups and pacifiers. Morgan's mom no longer lets her daughter walk around while drinking. She also switched to bottles with a rubber top instead of a hard plastic one. I don't think she may have chipped her tooth if she had that softer top um, on her bottle. She knows it could have been worse. Morgan didn't need stitches and the baby tooth will fall out on its own. Begad Chaban, CBS News, Los Angeles. Doctors suggest parents get rid of the pacifiers after six months and transition to cups without lids by age one.